Hey, listen, I like this raw. I can't say really. I, I can't say I liked it, <laughs> but I. You know what? It was fine. Let me just cut to the chase because I've been waiting all day. So Lex Luger and Yokozuma, as they call him, come out for a contract signing. They announced that James E. Cornette is his new uh, American spokesman. Cornette cuts a promo. Yokozuna signs. Lex Luger signs. And to cut to the chase, Luger, uh, they announced that after he signed, by the way, which is of questionable legality, after he signed, they announced, by the way, we added a stip. And the stip is, you must win at SummerSlam or you never get another shot at the WWF Championship. Mm-hmm. One, it's one and done. And uh, so then they say, Luger, what do you think of this last-minute addition to this uh, this contract? And, man, this fucking Lex Luger, I thought he got oh. a fucking great promo. Fantastic. And you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of when we watched every single one of those Monday Night War shows— uh, you know, Raw versus Nitro. Mm-hmm. And we also watched a whole bunch of stuff from back in the day, NWA, mm-hmm. World Championship Wrestling. Yeah, yeah. And fuck, how many fucking times did we see Luger and it was like, this fucking guy is totally on the cusp yep. of of being the guy and then some shit goes wrong. Yeah. How many fucking times did it's we see that? It's his whole career. It's his entire career. Where, and I watched where? I watched this promo and I thought, fuck me. If this guy would have beaten Yokozuna and won the title at SummerSlam, I don't even know what would have happened with the future of wrestling. Like a lot of things would have been really different. But goddamn, he cut such a great promo. And I just watched him and I went, fuck, I've seen this so many times with this guy. He's right there. And then they and it's not even him. They, the rug they just, always gets pulled out from under. They fuck it up. They pull the rug out from under I the mean, guy you, over and over again. You mentioned that we're going to watch SummerSlam and watch him fail. People forget, or maybe they, some people have forgotten, but by this point he was already an established failure because he had made an event against Ric Flair over and over and over again and never beat him and didn't win the title until Flair was fired. So Lex Luger came into this match with a legacy of the guy who never wins the big one, and then SummerSlam happens. <laughs> Yeah, this guy here, uh, he has no he has no idea what happened at SummerSlam, so we kind of spoiled won't. it for him. I won't. Well. But, uh, yeah. I mean, he doesn't lose. A spoiler for something that happened 30 fucking years ago. He wins on a count out. Yeah. And a they pretend. Count out. They celebrate like it's the biggest win ever, and balloons fall from the sky, and all his friends come carry him around. He's not the champion. Yeah. So that's how it ends. It's very strange. But anyway, this Luger promo, guys. I mean, it was great. That was he was great. By far the best he part. He looked of the show. like a fucking superstar. He looked like the next big thing in WWE. A great promo. Fire. I was just like, man, look at this guy. And they fuck it up for the 80th time. Yeah. It's incredible. A totally different company. Yeah. That's the amazing thing. It's not yeah. the same people. Then he goes back to the other company. They keep doing it. And they do it there too after yeah. Yep. His whole everyone career. my point is, everyone's always blamed Luger. But bro, every time, every time it was about time, he delivered, yeah. and then they screwed it up every time. Then we go to the contract signing, which we kind of hit the, the main point. Yeah, he says it was the best thing that ever happened in Alexandria Bay. <laughs> it may he have may been. be right. It may have been for all I know. So I hate most contract signings, and the others I usually just don't care about. This is a really, really good contract signing. It really was. Now, the biggest reason is Lex, because Lex closed it with a hell of a promo. But the other reasons I think I liked it, Vince gave Lex a hell of an introduction. I did not write it down word for word, but uh, he made a big production out of this. Cornette was out there. He, of course, is great. But I think the other thing that made this so much so much more enjoyable than most of them, because Vince, they had a bunch of dignitaries in the ring. There was uh, Yokozuna and Mr. Fuji, and they introduced Jim Cornette as their English spokesperson. So no more of Jack Tunney's crooked interpreters who would take advantage of their limited English skills. Uh, Vince was in there conducting things. They had Jack Tunney and all his gang of suits. Bobby Heenan was in there just doing something. Uh, Macho Man's in there just being there, and of course Luger eventually shows up. But the point is, Vince 
Macho Man and Heenan were all in the ring, which means nobody was on commentary, which means they weren't bombarding me with speech the whole time. When Lex comes out and Lex and Yokozuna have their stare down, it's just a stare down with crowd noise. That was awesome. So in detail, I just explained the part about Cornette, who explains what he's doing there and why he's going to help Yokozuna, turns to Vince and says, quote, don't worry, I'll get you through this, kid. I laughed so hard at that. Vince gives Lex his great intro. He's an American hero. He slammed Yokozuna on the battleship. I believe he's going to beat Yokozuna at SummerSlam and bring the title back to the USA. Lex comes out in a suit. I, I, he's just a monster in this suit. It was very strange to see a guy this big in a suit. The stars and stripes tie. They have the epic stare down. It's just silence, but intense silence. It's awesome. Yokozuna signs right away. Lex Luger signs right away. Then Cornette reveals this clause that, yes, this is Lex's one shot. If he does not beat Yokozuna, he will never be champion. There will be no rematch. Lex is perfectly fine with this. He, he didn't outright say that he knew it was in there. He didn't care. But he said, that's fine. You can put an elbow pad on me. That's fine. One shot is all I need to get this done. And then he just goes off. And he's great. Do you hear me? He's great. He's talking about how going coast to coast, meeting all the people he can, all the support he's gotten. They got me this contract. They carried me to Auburn Hills. We get to Auburn Hills at SummerSlam. We are going to kick that door down. We are going to bring that belt back to the USA where it belongs. Place is going nuts. He's included all of them. He's a star. He's he he's, he's looks great. He's got a suit there. He's, this, is, this is so, so, so awesome. And Yoko just kind of brushes him off and walks away. He Jim didn't Courtney. brush him off. He wiped sweat off his brow and flicked it right in Luger's face. I loved it. Jim Cornette is out there. He's got a uh, blue suit, uh, sports jacket with red lapels, a red shirt to match the lapels, a black tie with rainbow paisleys on it, and the pair of the pinkest pants you've ever seen in your life. I know uh, on his show or for his uh, um, fan base, I'm not sure exactly what the term would be, but he has done tours of like his collection, his wrestling collection memorabilia. Has he ever done a tour of his closet? Because I bet that's awesome too. Oh, I bet. Just all these different racket covers. Yeah, yeah. Just jackets in every color of the Crayola box. <laughs> so that was by miles and miles and miles the best thing on this show. Sangha versus Lee. Stands on Lee's chest when she's down. Bangs her, uh, her on the apron. Pull, um, puts elbow on her chin. Threw her out of the ring. You know, it doesn't really matter a lot in 2022, Granny, but uh, yeah. Lee, in fact, identifies as a man. <laughs> Legend versus woman. Perez. That was another NXT. Can you believe the little guy beat him? He beat Legend. A that. little guy? It's now wrong. Roxanne Perez is a man? Yeah. Roxanne. <laughs> no. no, these were two women. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, Granny. you got to be kidding me today. God. <laughs> If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.